Thanks, Catherine. As the cost of fuel and living continues to rise, motorists are looking for ever more imaginative ways to reduce their car's fuel consumption. From reducing the amount of luggage and unnecessary journeys, to even trying to make their own fuel. Some motorists have tried everything to save the pounds of the pumps. But is there one thing that they may have missed? Hello, darling. You all right? You couldn't do me a favour, could you, Dad? Okay. I just need to get my tyres done. I've booked it in and everything. Can you just take it for me? Didn't you just get some new tyres? Oh, I can't believe they've gone this quick. I, I told you it's going to be expensive. You keep getting new tyres like that. It won't be that bad. Just get me some cheapy ones. That'll do. I think my daughter has a car booked in for a new set of tyres this morning. A full set? Uh, yeah. Um, Whilst your car is here, would you like us to measure the wheel alignment? Um, it's probably why your tyres are wearing out so quickly. Um, nah, why bother? You've never had it done before, why now? We ain't got time anyway. Wait a minute. You should regularly have your wheel alignment checked, at least every 12 to 15,000 miles. But there's nothing wrong with a car. Nothing a new set of rubbers won't fix anyway. It's not always possible to see by eye if a car is suffering from misalignment without the need for a four-wheel alignment check. By the time you see a problem, it's too late to save your new mm. set of rubber. A wheel alignment check is as much about prevention as it is about the cure. Don't listen to him. What's the point? The point is, a proper four-wheel alignment check saves money, saves tyres and saves on fuel. It'll even decrease the carbon footprint by helping to keep down your car's CO2 emissions and preventing early tyre disposal. You want her car to handle well, don't you? Have a smooth ride? With the proper four-wheel alignment, the car would be set back to the way the motor manufacturer intended, so the handling and ride quality would be the best it could be. But it'll cost you though, won't it? Well, think of it this way. Even if the alignment measurement and adjustment was going to cost you the price of one new tyre, it could save you the cost of all four of your new ones. Yeah, uh, I think I will. Sounds like a good idea. Have a hunter wheel alignment today. You'll soon see the benefits of what it can do for you. The Wheelie Good Show! With me! Hello and welcome to my laboratory. On today's show we shall be looking at the causes of misalignment, what the problems might be for your car and how to solve it. But first, what is misalignment? Misalignment in essence is when the car's wheels are out of line with that of the car's centre line which can cause unnecessary wear and tear on the wheels and tyres of the vehicle. Wheel misalignment can be caused by a number of factors, from the general and gradual wear on components through day-to-day -day driving, to those small, nasty shocks. It may even have been wrongly adjusted in the past, which may have affected the proper angles of the wheel to that of the car. Right, how does misalignment affect your car? I'll show you. Now the wheels on this car are perfectly aligned to the manufacturer's specifications, so when it drives, it drives perfectly. Now, if the wheels are even slightly misaligned, the car's performance will be affected. Now if the wheels aren't perfectly aligned, it causes the tyres to drag unnecessarily, creating a rolling resistance on the car. This will slow your car down, make your engine work harder, cause the tyres to wear out prematurely, 
and make the car unstable, particularly during emergency or evasive action. So instead of just changing the tyre when it's showing signs of wear and ignoring the fault, is there anything that can be done to solve the problem properly? A proper four-wheel alignment will measure and diagnose the misalignment problem by measuring all four wheels simultaneously. It'll find out just what's wrong, allowing the train technicians to adjust the car back to how the motor manufacturer intended. My mate says he just has his front tires done because that's where all the steering stuff from. Really? But that's only half a job! If your mate put a flat pack table together, then realised it was wonky, would he leave it? Uh, no. Well then, it's just as important to have a full four-wheel alignment check done here and get a before and after printout of the results. It's well worth it. Until next time, good Hello, I'm James, and I'm going to take you through the key steps of Hunter four-wheel alignment. Before doing Hunter four-wheel alignment, it is important to do pre-alignment checks. It's essentially a fit for alignment check. Check tyre pressures. If the pressures are too high or too low, it will affect the car's handling and the tyre wear. Check tyre condition, as the wear can tell me a lot about the potential misalignment, but also ensures the tyres are safe and legal. Check for any significant wear and tear in steering and suspension components. They may need replacing ahead of an alignment. All okay there, now we're going to start the alignment process. From the Hunter console, we're now going to enter the customer's name and car details. and retrieve the motor manufacturer data for the make and model of the car. Once the vehicle specification has been selected, it is at this point that the hunter makes the technician aware of any model specification requirements, such as a vehicle ride height or weighting, as in the BMW models. Now I'm going to fit the hunter targets. I'm using Hunter's Quick Grip Adapter. Some other workshops may use different styles of hunter clamps. After attaching all four clamps, the hunter will then prompt you on screen to perform a run-out compensation. Run-out compensation is a process required by the car manufacturers as it takes into account any errors in the wheel rims or in the positioning of the targets on the wheels. In doing this, we've ensured that the final readings are as accurate as possible. Now the hunter system is ready to take initial readings. The aligner then calculates and presents the orientation of each wheel in three dimensions. Okay, now we install the brake pedal depressor. This stops the car from moving during the measurement process. The hunter now prompts me to conduct a caster swing, which makes additional measurements. Once completed, the hunter will display the final set of alignment readings and produce a printout. From this printout, we will help guide you, the customer, through the results. If adjustment is needed, and it's highly recommended, I can select the relevant angles needing adjustment on the hunter screen. All I need to do is select the necessary tools and locate the undercar adjustment. In this case, I'll adjust the alignment angles and watch the live bar graphs change on the hunter screen until the angles come into specification. When all possible adjustments have been completed, the hunter will present a second set of results and print out. All green means it is set within motor manufacturer specifications and is fully aligned. And the printouts are yours to keep.
Once your car has had a Hunter four-wheel alignment and the measurements are complete, a before alignment adjustment printout will be presented. So what does it all mean? The printout shows a basic graphical representation of a car chassis with the front set of wheels at the top of the printout and the rear set at the bottom. Each of the 14 primary angle measurements is graphically presented as a bar. The colour of these bars indicates the status of the angles. Green, meaning the angle is OK and within alignment, and red, meaning the angle is out of alignment. The set of numbers in each top corner represent the from and to motor manufacturer tolerance figures for the particular model of car with the ideal in alignment setting halfway between the two tolerances. If the angle is out of alignment, the arrow will be off center, over to one side or the other. The central figure shown is the actual measured figure, which is most often presented in degrees and minutes. The camber concerns the tilt of the vehicle's wheels. If camber is aligned correctly, steering and road performance are greatly increased. If not, the tire wear and vehicle handling can be severely affected camber is measured in degrees. A wheel that is straight has zero degrees. If the wheel tilts outwards, it has positive camber. And if it tilts inwards, it has negative camber. Camber can affect both front and rear wheels. The caster measures the tilt of the steering axis to that of the wheel. Caster is measured by the forward or rear tilt of the steering axis, as if viewed from the side. Measured in degrees, the caster is positive when the top of the steering axis is tilted to the rear of the car and negative when it tilts forwards. If incorrectly aligned, caster can cause increased steering effort and tyre wear. The caster only applies to the front steering wheels. The steer ahead indicates the angle of the steering wheel if the vehicle was travelling on a straight and flat road. It should be level. The most common angle that suffers from misalignment is the toe. The toe is measured by how much the wheel angle is in or out from the car's centre line. The toe is positive when the tyre points inwards and negative when it points out. Each individual wheel toe is considered a per wheel value. Excessive negative or positive toe will result in unnecessary tyre wear or scuffing on the outer and inner edge of the tyre. Toe can affect both front and rear wheels. Total toe is the sum of the two individual toe readings added together. The final measurement is the thrust angle. The thrust angle is the direction the rear wheels are pointing in relation to the centre line of the car. If the thrust angle is not zero and in line, the vehicle will crab or move sideways from the back, causing unnecessary strain on the vehicle. Any grey boxes shown are angle measurements not relevant to that particular make or model or unpublished by the motor manufacturer. After being presented with a before printout, you will be asked if you would like your car to be realigned. This is where adjustments are made, where applicable, to bring the angles back into alignment and within the motor manufacturer's specifications. Once the adjustment is complete, you get an after printout to keep, proof of a job well done.